2018 Yamaha MT-07 specification as the rain made its way between my mismatched waterproof motorcycle gear and we climbed in elevation through southern Spain's pristine backroads, I thought to myself, there still isn't anywhere I would rather be at this moment than atop the 2018 Yamaha MT-07 in the Spanish countryside. You see, it might seem like this is the best job in the world to a motorcycle enthusiast, which I can assure you, is absolutely true. But? That doesn't mean that it isn't sometimes a grueling affair. We had traveled across the world to ride the MT-07 and were the last wave of journalists from all over the world to do so. It would just so happen that our four groups of journos would also be the only ones putting up with the torrential downpour that would intrude shortly into our ride day. More than a week earlier Yamaha's media relations manager had informed us of the likelihood of rain, which meant we were able to plan ahead and make our gear selections accordingly. Flash forward to the technical presentation the night before our ride, we were this time guaranteed of the rain, which had held off that entire day. After dinner, Yamaha's Garrett Kapley and I discussed how we would rather continue through the entire route, even through the rain, than to have it cut short. I won't speak for Garrett, but my tune may have changed halfway through our ride day. For now, let's take a look at what I learned from the technical presentation of the 2018 Yamaha MT-07. The motorcycle formerly known as FZ-07, the MT-07, has sold in substantial numbers across the globe and is the number one selling motorcycle for Yamaha USA as well as in Europe. We also saw graphical data illustrating motorcycle sales in the US which have been fairly flat since 2012 with a slight increase leading up to 2015 and a slight decrease moving on into 2017. Within those sales numbers, a line graph revealed what has happened with the hypernaked category, as Yamaha calls it, naked sport bikes, and therein lies optimism. According to Yamaha, the hypernaked category, which in these statistics include all manufacturers, is up by a staggering 260% since 2012. As super sport sales have decreased, we see these more versatile machines rise in popularity. Being that the FZ07 was Yamaha's best-selling motorcycle, the company knew it would need to refresh the model with certain attributes to keep customers coming back. So, what is new for 2018? An FZ07 by any other name would ride just as well. Many of you are probably aware that the naming convention outside of the US market has been MT07 since the model's introduction. As is the same for the MT09 and MT10 models. Yamaha has decided that in this global community that we now live in, standardizing the model name around the world is the way to go moving into 2018. Specifically mentioned, was social media. Now, hashtag MT07 will allow riders all around the world to celebrate their motorcycles globally. While speaking to our Yamaha US reps, they did mention they would have preferred the name change with the introduction of the FZ09, but they are happy to see the standardization across the markets.